The time is nigh. The notorious Conor McGregor finally makes his way into the octagon against Michael Chandler. But this time, besides wearing the Irish flag and the weight of a million fans' expectations on his shoulders, he wears another cap as a UFC coach on The Ultimate Fighter. We just got word in recently from a visibly ecstatic Dana White. Well, why wouldn't he be? The man who brings in all the numbers is finally back. Conor will be going head-to-head -head against lightweight starlet Michael Chandler. Looks like his post-match speech that ran circles around social media really worked. Honestly, don't blame him. If Chandler would have asked me to go ask that girl out at that moment, I would have. Jeez. But enough about my love life. We're here to talk about Conor McGregor's love affair with the UFC. The last we saw of McGregor was in July of 2021, when he was humbled by Dustin Poirier. Conor came into the octagon in the match, brimming with confidence. Guess he took break a leg a little too seriously. Sorry, not sorry. Honestly, Conor wasn't the same the first time he competed against Poirier. He has currently won three in his last four appearances since 2018. Hey, I'm no fight expert, but that isn't very champ champ of him. Though it doesn't change the fact that many still look up to him. He last coached The Ultimate Fighter back in 2015, in the 22nd season of the show, against Uriah Faber. This time, he's dealing with a different animal. Chandler seems like a fair opponent for Connor. His track record hasn't been the best either. He will, however, be coming in with confidence after knocking out Tony Ferguson and UFC 281. For Iron Chandler, his dreams are finally answered. Conor McGregor! Surprise, surprise! There's a new king in the lightweight division! He has been edging for a match against the Notorious One since the start of his career. But the question is, has Connor still got it? Lately, he hasn't been notorious for all the wrong reasons. Seriously, there was a time when he was this phenomenon who became the litmus strip test for every new or veteran contender in the UFC. But new Connor has been flying off the rails, making some pretty dodgy headlines. This past January, Connor was being investigated by the Spanish court over an alleged assault against a woman who was on his yacht. According to the woman, Connor was apparently practicing his kickboxing in different waters, quite literally. And that's not all. We're pretty used to Connor making some entertaining trash talks to his opponents, but threatening a woman to drown her might be a little too far. When speaking to a Spanish news site, Periodico de Ibiza, where Connor really got aggressive was when she reached out for the help of a friend through the confrontation. At that point, apparently, McGregor went southpaw. Okay, in all seriousness, the allegations are pretty severe and have really had fans questioning whether Connor is mentally stable enough to even compete in the UFC. McGregor's spokesperson, Karen Kessler, has come out and denied all the allegations on behalf of McGregor. Apparently, the woman was invited to Connor's 34th birthday bash in July 2022. After the two interacted in a beach club the night before. So far, there are no official charges for McGregor, but if he is summoned for questioning in Ibiza, it'll be in a private hearing by the judge. Honestly, it's pretty hard to keep anything private when you're Conor McGregor. That comes as a consequence of the stardom Conor has garnered over the years for himself, and it keeps getting worse. In the world of UFC, needless to say, there is a lot of touching involved. Grappling can get a little too intimate if you know what I mean. And if you drive your car on the other side of the road, if you know what I mean, it can be pretty awkward if you're in the sport. Among all the allegations Connor has had to his name, being called out for ho is definitely the most bizarre. Yep, you heard that right. Connor's old sparring partner, Paul Malinaji, has come out and accused the Irish fighter of being gay. The veteran helped Connor prepare for his blockbuster fight against Floyd Money Mayweather, where his sparring footage was famously leaked publicly by the McGregor dugout. In the footage, we saw Paul knocked down bad by McGregor. An attempt to play mind games with Floyd Mayweather, maybe. Things escalated so much so that Paul and McGregor were in talks for a match in 2019, but they didn't really amount to anything. Malinaji came out and told Behind the Gloves that he thinks Connor might be into him, and that he gets a weird vibe from the dude. He went on to ask Connor why he needs Paul to think about him so 
much. Apparently, Paul lives in Connor's head rent-free. Continuing on in his rant, the former WBA welterweight champ accused Connor of sexually harassing him. Whether this is all just trash talk or a weird obsession from Connor's side, it definitely is a first in the UFC. But that's not all. Connor has very recently been accused of juicing. After recent photos of the Irish starlet surfaced, it definitely had a lot of eyebrows raised. Connor looked absolutely jacked. In May of last year, Connor was standing at a whopping 190 pounds. When his name was being paired to face Jorge Masvidal, the BMF title holder came out and accused Connor for puncturing and putting steroids. Even MMA analyst and podcaster Joe Rogan took a shot at McGregor. No pun intended. Joe made his views clear on Mystic Mac's ridiculous physique, claiming that his urine could melt a USADA cup. He believes that Connor has been really taking advantage of his time off, having not been tested at all in 2022 by the US Anti-Doping Agency program. Apparently, there is a loophole that allows you to get out of the testing pool. Wish someone would have informed John Jones. Too far? Sorry, John. Connor clapped back, though, taking a shot at the veteran, posting a side-by-side -side comparison of Joe's physique when he was 25 and 52. McGregor, in his own McGregor way, accused Joe of using PE Ds instead. Funny how he didn't deny himself using it though. USADA did confirm that McGregor is, indeed, out of the testing pool. Ever since his catastrophic injury with a broken tibia in 2021, Connor has been flexing his physique left, right, and center. Guess he needs a couple of shots to get his bravado back. With his fight against Chandler not too far away, all eyes will be on USADA and the headlines leading up to it. I wouldn't put any bets on Connor coming out positive. Connor is too smart and too big of a name to be making that mistake, but you never know. Seriously, what happened to Connor? Connor was that guy in the UFC ever since he walked the halls from the mic to the octagon. It was unlike anything we'd ever seen before. Connor made the UFC fun to watch with his unprecedented charisma. He was the man who could talk the talk and walk the walk. Personally, ever since Connor was pummeled by Habib Nurmagomedov, he has been nothing more than a laughing stock. All of the trash talk against the humble Habib, the way Connor was humiliated after being battered by the Dagestanian, he has never really been able to recover from it. Connor returned from that fight to go up against Dustin Poirier in UFC 257, where we did see him tone all the trash talk down a notch, and was even seen embracing Dustin. That didn't work out well for him either. By the looks of it, Connor's ego is at its peak, which is alarming, considering how his recent performances have looked like, will Chandler get the better of Connor, or will we be seeing the return of the Mac? We'll have to wait and see. And that was all on how Connor's future does not look good in the UFC.